Good morning, BookTube. This is Johnny. Um, I'm sitting here. I'm always sitting here in this dining room. Well, I like the dining room because it's an open space. There's a light. If I was to film any place else, it wouldn't be comfortable. Well, it wouldn't be comfortable as a dining room. Now, sometimes I, I record in my main study but I like sitting here. So I'm sitting here. It is 7.42 in the morning. It is a Friday here in West Michigan. It is July the 21st, 7.42 in the morning. Sitting here writing in my diary, page 656. And yeah, and I was reading, we're trying to read. I've been kind of bouncing around this morning. Uh, Sons and the Son, The Riches and Reach of Adoption in Christ by David B. Gardner. Yeah, that book is it's kind of heavy. You have to read it and then all of a sudden you have to stop and think about it. Uh, it's kind of like a slow read. And uh, so yeah, so I was thinking about that that tag uh, that's been going around BookTube, a slow read tag. Now, it seems everybody does it differently. It's an old tag. I noticed that what, I think it was done in 2015 by somebody. And uh, some people mentioned just five books. One person I looked at mentioned a huge list of books for slow reads. But uh, for me, when I thought about the books for a slow read tag, uh, first of all, as a Christian, I would mention if you're going to read the Bible, if you're going to read anything slowly, uh, which means that you read reflectively, meditating, uh, pondering, uh, trying to digest something, uh, the first thing I would recommend is the Bible itself. Uh, you don't, there's a way to read the Bible and it's called uh, Lecto Divia. This is a good book on the subject. This is called Sacred Reading, The Ancient Art of Lecto Divia by Michael Casey. And he goes into the, this practice of reading the Bible uh, with uh, slowly, <laughs> meditatively. Uh, so I really recommend this book, uh, The Sacred Reading, The Ancient Art of Lecto Divia by Michael Casey. And also I recommend this book here Lecto de Villa, The Medieval Experience of Reading by Duncan Robinson. And then the last book I read on Lecto de Villa is Reading to Live, The Evolving Practice of Lecto de Villa by Raymond Stanskensky. I found this book a little bit uh, dry at times, but I recommend it. All these books are published by Sertertians. Uh, yeah, this one's not by Sertertian, but you can find it on the internet. But the books that I would recommend, the books that, that are specifically to read slowly, besides the Bible, I would recommend. And these are the books I've mentioned many times, the books that I would take out of the house Beside, if I was to run out of the house, I'd grab my Bible, and these are the books that I would, and I've shown these books many times. And the first one is the Collected Works of St. John of the Cross. Uh, this translated by Curran Cavala and Otelo Rodriguez. I like this translation. Uh, you can see it's all beat up. I've mentioned in the past that I've been reading St. John of the Cross for 47 years. Now, now, now I want to qualify that. There, 
um, I really got into St. John of the Cross when I was in Texas, Houston, Texas, doing my internship. Uh, but it goes back to when I was in seminary in Jackson, Mississippi. I took a seminar with uh, an Episcopal or an Anglican, I think he was an Anglican priest on Christian spirituality and I had the I had a volume of the works of St. John of the Cross and then I st start reading him again in seminary just before I graduated and then when I we moved to Houston Texas to do my internship I continued to study Christian spirituality I went and I, I got into centering prayer I the only seminary near where I lived was a Catholic seminary, St. Mary's Seminary there in Houston, Texas. And I would go to Aquinas College and, and borrow books. And I went to, I really got into Thomas Merton. And I really got into St. John of the Cross. But anyway, I recommend this one. The next one I've mentioned many times. I read it all the time. I've read this uh, I first got this book when I was we were in Texas. <coughs> I started collecting this series, The Classics of Western Spirituality. And this is one of my favorite. I read it uh, at least once a year. This is Carthusian Spirituality, The Writings of Hugh of Bama and Gaio de Pont. And in here is like, for example, in here is the Roads to Zion, which is by Gail DuPont, and then Hugh Obama wrote uh, on the road on contemplation, Gail DuPont on the contemplation, and then the other one, the Hugh Obama, the Roads to Zion Mourn. And these are to be read slowly. Uh, that's why I like them, because there are some times in my reading life where I just want to meditate or just read things. And I don't want to get anything really heavy, like reading history or reading literary criticism or reading a novel. I just want to sit and read something that will lead me into a state of contemplation. So I read these and then I recommend The Cloud of Unknowing. And I've been reading this awful for many, many years. I, the, the author is unknown. He was like a, th a 13th century monk, uh, English. And I recommend these uh, to read slowly, Lecto de Via, pondering. And it's also as a Christian, you praying to the Holy Spirit, praying for the, the Spirit to move and to lead you into that state of prayer, meditation, and then leading on to contemplation, which is uh, called the Ladder of Monks. This is by Gaio the Second. He talks about the the effects of contemplation. He says, "So the soul, by such burning words." inflames its own desire, makes known its state, and by such spells it seeks to call its spouse. But the Lord whose eyes are upon the just and whose ears can catch not only the words, but the very meaning of their prayers, does not wait until the longing soul has said all it say, but breaks in upon the, the middle of its prayer, runs to meet it in all haste, sprinkled with sweet heavenly dew, anointed with the most precious perfumes, he restores the weary soul. He slacks its thirst, he feeds its hunger, he makes the soul forget all earthly things by making it die to itself. He gives it new life in a wonderful way, and by making it drunk, he brings it back to its true senses. And just as in the performance of some bodily functions, the soul is so conquered by carnal desire that loses all use of the reason, and man becomes, as it were, wholly cardinal. So on the contrary, in this exalted con contemplation, all cardinal motives are conquered, 
and drawn out of the soul, that in no way is the flesh opposed to the spirit, and man becomes, as it were, wholly spiritual. So, yeah, this is a good little book to read slowly and to ponder. Gaia, Ladder of Monks and the Twelve Meditations. This is also published by Sertertian Publications. And lastly, this is another book. I This one I started reading a couple of years ago. I had it for years, and it's by John Rosebreck, uh, Ruebreck, Spiritual Spousals and the Other Works. Uh, this is on Spiritual Spousals. With a, it's on spiritual marriage between the Christ, the Beloved, and the spiritual bride, the Christian. Uh, so these are kind of books that I would recommend if you're going to read slowly, meditatively, lead into a state of contemplation. Uh, another book, uh, if you want, a book, I was mentioning about on Lecto de Villa. I've mentioned these books several times in my videos. Uh, Into the Silent Land, A Guide to Christian Practice of Contemplation by Martin Lard. And his other book, A Sunlight Absence, Silence, Awareness, and Contemplation by Martin Lard. These books I, I look at at least once a year, and I look at them off and on throughout the year. So these are the books I would recommend for a slow read. The Collective Works of St. John of the Cross, The Carthusian Spirituality, The Cloud of Unknowing, John Ruderbrick, The Spiritual Espouse and Other Works in the Classics of Christian Spirituality, Gaio the Second, Ladder of Monks and Twelve Meditations, and also these two books, Into the Silent Land by Martin Lard and Sunlight Absence. So those are good books to start with, and of course, read the Bible. <laughs> and also, uh, you know, I really like this book, Sacred Reading, the, the Ancient Art of Lecto de Villa. Uh, Christians have been practicing the Lecto de Villa for centuries. Uh, even today, well, I practice it, and there are many Christians throughout uh, the Christian world. Catholics, Eastern Orthodox, Protestants. So yeah, so that's what I recommend for uh, for a slow read tag. Uh, like this is a Friday. We have I you might call this my Friday reads, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know what else to uh, to convey or communicate in this video. Do thank you for the comments and the new subscribers and. Uh, this weekend we have our little granddaughter Josie Joy, so that will that will keep Papa and Nani busy. It's always a pleasure to have our little granddaughter spend tonight and Saturday with us as their mom and dad celebrates I think their wedding anniversary. So yeah, so I hope you're having a good Friday and that you have a good weekend. And till next time, bye.